Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Donkey Kong 64. We're blindly playing Donkey Kong 64, as threatened. Um, we are, I don't know, Chunky Kong. We're Mailman Kong, the mailman. He actually looks like somebody who works in a restaurant that makes you wear a bad uniform. That is my assessment of uh, what this character's dress looks like. All right, let's get some ammo and get out of here. All right, now, um, what we were going to check out was whether or not... That wasn't what I wanted to do. I want to be chunky. Um, isn't there, I believe, we... I'm a little curious about this, because didn't we unlock a barrel here? Or something by hitting these things? I think we did. But whatever. We probably need to use the the Dixie Kong shooter thing to unlock the rest of that. I don't know. I mean, the game is in obviously multiple stages and stuff, which is nice. I mean, again, it's it's not a real hardship that you have to repeat levels with certain Kongs and things. That's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. So, what we're going to try now Oh, again, this is the waterfall, and we don't need them. Oh, unless the waterfall is... No, that wouldn't make any sense. I was going to say, unless the waterfall is right over the place underwater, but no, that doesn't make any sense. Warp 5 is going to have to take us to a place that has other warps in it or something, if there's going to be eight bosses. Okay, now what I wanted to check was... Okay, you can break that. All right, but purple blueprints, we can't get those. All right, well, whatever. Um, no, what I want to check <coughs> is whether or not we can move that boulder in the first level. So I don't know why I came back up here. But we did unlock a Kremlin or whatever. I mean, a blueprint holding Kremlin. All right. Oh, we almost made it without ever changing the camera angle. Oh, well, I was trying. You always got to try something new. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Do you always have to try something new? It's a good question. Again, you definitely, you know. I think life is worth the experimentation, don't you? All right. So that rock that's been bothering me is right over here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We can just pick it up. Good to know. Good to know. All right. That was golden banana number 27, if anybody believes that. You don't have to believe it. It's true. I don't know how many it's going to require for us to get into the last level, but geez, if the third level's 30, it probably does go up to over 100, if not 100. I would say 100 would be a reasonable amount. But... Who knows? It's King K. Rule's world, not ours. King K. Rule. What is he king of? He's king of the Kremlings? That doesn't really impress me very much. Should it? Should that impress me? Maybe. Alright. Now we're gonna swim. And this guy, again, is a horribly awkward sw looking swimmer. Oh, come on. You can't hurt me in the overworld. That's cheating. Alright. He doesn't... Well, maybe he moves as fast as Diddy. He doesn't seem to move as fast as Diddy. Diddy really flies. Oh yeah, he's moving pretty quick. Oh no. Lightning and thunder. Thunder and lightning. I was doing that last night. And actually, it was funny because I, at one point I was watching Superman 2, and there's the scene at the beginning where it shows, like, the crime that, uh, that Zod and his, you know, fellow whatevers, um, his fellow 
Kryptonitians or whatever have been sentenced to prison for. And, like, he he picks up this crystal and he breaks it. And, like, right as he did that, like, the, there was this big noise in the movie. And then at the exact same time, there was, like, a big thunder clash here. And it just synced up perfectly. And I said, because, like, my dad was running around and I'm like... Zod just made thunder, and my dad's like, of course God makes thunder, and I was like, no, Zod in the movie, like, I don't think he, he didn't get it. Alright, well, here's a thing. Wait a minute. We don't have an ability that lets us do that yet? Fine. But I'm taking your blueprints anyway, buddy. Because I could tell you have blue blueprints because you shoot a blue deal. All right. We are almost able to get into this level. But wasn't there a rock here? I thought there was a rock here. No? No? Oh. Color me disappointed. Guess we're swimming out of here. That makes sense, I suppose. Well, at some point, we're going to have to play the harmonica, or harmonica, the triangle. I wonder what Dixie plays. I mean, obviously, she has an instrument. Everybody has an instrument. She shoots red feathers, which is weird enough. Look at that swimming. That's so strange. We haven't said take it to the fridge in a while, either, have we? Well, let's take it to the fridge, then. We want to go back into three, or we want to explore two? Um... I suppose let's go back into three. We haven't even scratched the surface of what we can do in this level. Although we haven't really done that in three either, two either. We haven't. Um, it would be pretty nice to get Dixie as soon as possible because then we could go into like level one and really just try to get. Oh, there's only going to be eight levels because it makes sense. Because if there's five golden bananas a piece per person per level, eight levels is 200. Like, that makes sense. There's probably, then, a blueprint piece, and, like, there's a banana thing for everybody. Yeah, that makes sense. That it's all based on multiples of eight. Oh, yeah, that's the... That was the bad fall that I shouldn't have made. I shouldn't have done. Oh. <laughs> Spalat. Splat says some Kremlin. Ha! I can jump right over you. I'm Chunky Kong! The chunkiest of Chunky Kongs! The chunkiest of Kongs! The Kongiest of Chunks! Wasn't there a character in the Goonies called Chunk? Doesn't he have that scene where they're putting his hand in the, they're gonna put his hand in the blender? It's sort of the best, like, one of the best movie scenes ever because, like, just because, like, everything, like, he confesses everything he's ever done. And, like, it, they, they just, it gets to such a point of ridiculousness that, like, he's confessing these things that, like, you would, nobody would ever think to confess. And then there's, like, the, there's the barf story about the movie theater where he's, like, he had fake barf. And he got everybody barf. Oh my god, that, that's such a funny scene. And it always terrified me because they put the tomatoes in the blender first to like show him how it'll cut up his hand. And it's pretty terrifying if you're a kid. And, you know, that's far more terrifying than the dead body gets locked in the freezer with. Does anybody watch the goodies anymore? I mean, like, people see that movie. I mean, like... It was a big thing in the in the 80s. I mean, I remember there being a board game. There's a Goody's board game. We are 30 bananas away from fighting the next boss. I'm uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty psyched about that actually. I know it doesn't sound like that, but that's part of the problem is I'm not doing crazy voices all over the place in this LP. Now there are obviously some places that we can open up that we haven't. Okay, we stopped this and we're we're good there. Okay, we can't... Well, obviously... Oh, you know what? I think I have an idea. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Um, my idea 
is not really a, an idea as much as it is kind of a duh duh moment. Okay, now how do we get up there? That's the question. Does this thing work? It does not. Well, okay, we, but we obviously, like, opened something up up there. I didn't understand. And isn't there a switch barrel around here? We can hit these other switches. Maybe we should, uh, I guess maybe we'll wait till we get Dixie and then we'll come back here and try to do better stuff. Uh, we were just here. This is going to be the last video in this series of play, by the way, people. Um, because, uh, I am getting a headache, which hardly ever happens with ILP, but, uh, tonight I was doing a, like, a marathon play of this. Because I did a, a recent marathon play of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, so I needed to kind of catch up with that. You are gonna give me watermelon. Which I guess in the game is just referred to as melon. But we all know that they're obviously watermelons. Okay, why... I don't get what the deal with this place is. Like, it's painfully obvious that... There's, uh... You know, it's a view of the areas we can unlock and get bananas from, but... This too, actually. Maybe it just shows us that that room goes all the way up. <laughs> I mean, that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Well, I suppose going all the way over here means going all the way over here. And then trying to avoid this bee. Which wasn't so bad. I've been, this is probably a record for how long I've been lanky in a row. That may not be true, though. I mean, when we first got him, I was probably played as him quite a bit. Well, that guy really took a shot at us. I don't know, maybe we've kind of exhausted the stuff we can do here. I mean, it's an interesting thought, right? Although that doesn't make it, that would make any sense. It wouldn't make any sense for us to not be able to do more than we've done. We're just missing stuff. That's the problem. We're just not looking right. Opla. Opla. Maybe that's the Donkey Kong equivalent of the most popular woman on tower television is Opla. Opla. Opla Winfrey. All right. I can't understand why I'm getting a headache. I'm also kind of sweating, which is a little weird. Um, maybe I'm really hungry. Okay, we did this already. That's done. It's done. I don't have to do it anymore. Okay, and I know there's a King K. Rule thing over here that we haven't done anything with. Um, oh yeah, and some Diddy Kong stuff over here. Um, let's change into Diddy and jump down this hole. Because I'm assuming that the, uh, obviously the coins are, uh, a hint about who we have to be to to make that work, so or to make whatever comes next work. All right, Diddy, we haven't been you in a while. Yeah, you haven't been me in a long time. Sorry, Diddy. I'm sorry. It's not a very good Diddy voice. It's the same as my other people voice. All right. One. Two. Three. Down we go. Okay. What did that do? Oh, fantastic. I'm not too worried about this. This is not a hard thing to do in 20 seconds. All right. Beaver bother. Herd the beavers into the pit. Press A to jump, and B to scare them. K 
Okay. They don't want to go. We're doing a good job not scaring them into the pit. This is kind of fun, though. I will give it that. No! Apparently, falling down the pit yourself is frowned upon. Welcome to bonus day. Okay. Nope, we did this already. All right. Get in the pit! You all stink! You smell like horrible beaver. Okay, that's two. Three. Four. Five. Come on. Okay, I've got a decent kind of idea of strategery. All right, I need, I need three more, four more. Four more? Seriously? That's a lot. Not even close. <laughs> oh, man. All right, yeah, we're gonna try again. Welcome to bonus stage. All right. Okay. I guess the jumping is to put us, you know, in between, get us in between them and the pit really easily, but it, it doesn't work like that at all. All right. I'm gonna bite you. I'm gonna bite you. I'm gonna bite off your beavery tails. And they'll be delicious. Delicious. Cause I am an alligator or a crocodile. I don't know which shape of nose indicates which. Cause that is how you tell the difference. The shape of their nose. Well, there's other ways, but that is the easiest way. All right, everybody, we're going to skip to the successful attempt, and uh, then we'll be shutting off the video. So, yeah. Welcome to bonus stage.